How's it going everyone? My name's Drum Guy. welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing something slightly different. It is a reaction video, but it's also a first time listening video. So we're gonna be listening to a band called Nightwish and a song called Ghost Love Score. Now I have never listened to Nightwish. I have heard of them, I have just never listened to a song. I don't know why, just never really done it. And this was suggested to me by Martine, so I just wanna say thank you. And also, if anyone else has any suggestions of anything for me to listen to, put them in the comments below. I do take on board what people put, and who knows, maybe your recommendation will be something I listen to next. I'm excited, I don't know what to expect, I don't know what the song is gonna sound like, or even, I don't even really know what the style of the band sounds like. Uh, I think from the comment I got, they might be kind of in the same genre as Sabaton, like your power metal type uh, genre. This is going to be an interesting one for sure. First time listening to Nightwish, let's go. So already starting off with like sort of operatic sound, definitely sort of sounds like Sabaton. Bit of keyboard in there. probably the keyboard doing the uh, the harmony vocals really. I don't know if it's just me, but I just noticed that those kick drums on that drum kit look massive. Are they like 24 inch kick drums? It was just because he sat so low. I just noticed that. Oh, that's a really nice beat. Oh, that a bit of a weird time pattern. There? Sounds like it. It's very weird. It does sound like there's a slight weird time pattern going there. Okay, change in tempo. Very... That's a very... Just quickly pause it. Um, so from what I've got from it already... Like... Uh, all I knew of Nightwish was it had a female vocalist. That was it. And uh, I've never really heard her voice. And already her voice... Yeah, it's very... Her voice is very operatic in itself. Um, very kind of, I don't know, choir-esque sounding voice. Um, be interested to see what the, the, the rest of the song uh, sounds like. But so far, I I'm liking it. That, that was, like I said, it was a cool beat that we got from that, uh, that intro. I uh, swear there was like a weird sort of timing thing um, on, on, on that, which kind of added a little bit of jazz to to, uh, to that beat. Not jazz in the genre, just a little bit of style and finesse. Uh, that was pretty cool. Then we had that tempo change. Very angelic voice, isn't it, this? Oh, was that the chorus? Then that might have been the chorus that we just heard. Very heavy on the bass, but I think it's just because it's live. Yeah, definitely very operatic sounding. I don't know if it's just the song or if that's the style. Of, um, of Nightwish, uh, the, the vocalist. That's how she sings. Or if it's just this certain song, but very, yeah. Uh, you just want to kind of do that. A very operatic sound and voice. Sound like she might have a lot of power behind that voice if she really wanted it. Oh, I like that little stick uh, trick that we had there. 
There's those choir vocals in the background again. Even the lighting effect, it just gives that angelic kind of feel. Back into a oh solo, we're going for solo here. got more of the song I think it's quite a nice little section you just want to do that that's all I can think of like doing that's like Is this actually part of the song, or is this like just because it's live? Is this just like a theatrical thing that they're doing live for the song? I imagine it's part of the song. Drummer's coming back up. Clapping. I love it when the audience does that, starts clapping in time with whatever's going to happen. Build up, build up. Kind of sounds like a pirate theme now. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Big Toms, love it. If it, uh, have we gone into a free time? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, we have. We got into free time. Right, I swear we've definitely gone into some sort of pirate feeling. I, I, I don't know. I I get a complete fantasy vibe from this. I, I'm guessing that's Nightwish's thing. Fantasy vibe. It definitely seems like it would fit in that sort of power metal fantasy genre like you know your, your sabaton your dragon force you know so we had the very angelic like I said sort of feel to the beginning then we had that sort of cut out bit of a theatrical sort of i don't know what to describe it where just like nothing was happening instrumental wise and now we've gone into this which it's now gone into a because i think the first part was definitely a 4-4 four, four, weren't it and now we've gone into 3-4 and got this like kind of feel which I could be wrong but definitely gives me sort of gives me a pirate vibe I know it's not meant to be they're not you know it's not pirate battle it's not like ale storm but um that's what I just got off that so um don't hate me in the comments if I'm completely wrong but like a fantasy style something like that I'm getting that from this Ooh, are we changing again? Big Tom hits. See, there we go. There we go. Little bit of power behind that voice. I knew she... I, I had a feeling she had some power. Little bit of... Uh, Do 
Did we honestly just get an advert in the middle of the goddamn song? I was about to say... Ooh, ooh. Big Tom hits again. I was about to say, usually... I don't tend to hear that many 3-4 songs. Like, timing songs. But when you hear it, you gotta love them. When they're done right, you gotta love them. Um, just gives that... You just gotta do that, like, that, that type of barb. You gotta love it. He loves those toms, I tell you. So theatrical, all of this. Oh, I thought he was gonna get like an actual like bit of a drum solo there. So yeah, it doesn't it doesn't feel three four anymore. No, it's, it doesn't seem like it. So, a little bit of dream theory to relevant there. I will admit, like, the, the voice isn't fully what I expected on this. Just how, like, choir-esque the voice is. I didn't really expect it. Nice double kick. Underlying that pattern. Yeah, she's got some power there in those lungs. Power Metal Yell! Sort of like a big build! For the outro, big build! Still going! <laughs> Big Bill, come on! And just that last hit of the cymbals at the end. Guitar, shred it, go nuts. Wow. So, yeah, that, that was my... First time listening uh, to Nightwish. My God, what a song to listen to as well. Like I said, this was suggested to me. Um, I didn't think the song was going to be that long, but my God, like so many different sort of feels for that song. You know, it well, it started with that really cool drum beat that I liked. Then it went to the operatic feel with the vocals. Then we had that sort of, you know, instrumental interlude part, uh, that theatrical moment I was on about. And then it went into that 3-4 timing part, which I think was probably my favourite part of that. That was really nice. Then that big, 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 big build up for the outro. Um, that was really, really cool. First time ever listening to Nightwish. Uh, that was the song that was recommended to me, so that was the one I listened to. Had no idea what the song sounded like or how long that song was going to be. An advert in the middle of the song. I mean, I know it's a 10, like, nearly 11 minute song, but an advert, really? That that kind of annoyed me. I felt almost as like a story was told with that song. Although I'll admit, I don't know what the hell it was about. <laughs> I'll admit, I don't know what the hell she was saying half the time, because it was like very choir-esque. But uh, lovely voice, so uh, I, I, you know, I give, I give Nightwish a thumbs up. If this was your first time listening to Nightwish, then what did you think? Put in the comments down below. And also, are there any other bands that people want to suggest to me to listen? Uh, you know, and I'll, 
if people put some suggestions, I'll take a look and see which ones I haven't listened to before. This might be a great way to sort of introduce me to, to more bands than I would normally listen to. Once again, uh, I want to thank Martin who uh, recommended for this song. Thank you everybody for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching it, please like, comment, share, cheeky subscribe while you're at it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.